So taking a look at our example again from this mock-up, you can see I have my three bare copper ground wires coming into my Wago 221 from each of the strands of Romax, but I did not ground that to the box. Now there is a specific bump back here that has a threaded hole in it that matches up to these 632 grounding screws. Now you can either get these grounding screws and make up your own pigtail to tie into it, or you can get these pre-made pigtails that have your 632 screw. They have a shepherd's hook already in the clockwise direction and are ready to tie in to your other grounds. So all you have to do is place that screw in the threaded hole, tighten that down. One thing I wish is the screws would fit a Robertson or ECX, but they actually don't. They only fit a Phillips or a flathead screwdriver. Okay, so that's tightened up. And now I'm gonna take the Wago the beautiful part about the Wagos, I'm just going to take this three pin off and that is going to be reusable. So I'll throw that back in my box and then I'm going to swap it out to a five pin. So that's all there is to it. We now have that screw you can see coming through the backside which is flush to the enclosure, and we are now bonded. So now our electrical box is bounded to our grounds, and we are good to go. So hopefully that'll help you avoid that number one most common issue when it comes to metal boxes and DIY electrical. Now there's many other things I've learned over the years by making mistakes, but also from thousands and thousands and thousands of comments from viewers. Now I brought all those together and in this video right here, I'll help you avoid more common mistakes to ensure you're doing your electrical projects correctly and according to code. So thanks for joining me on this video and we'll catch you on that next one. Take care.